that's Alaska Granny. If you're paying any attention to the news at all, you're aware of the financial difficulties that Greece is facing at this time and the hardships of daily life that the Greek people are facing. They don't have enough food on their shelves for them to go to the store and buy something. The banks have been closed. If there is any cash available, it's very limited. And uh, gas stations, they are rationing how much you can have until it's gone. The future is bleak because of their financial difficulties of their country. So many things are imported, they don't even know when the supplies will be restocked. Don't let this happen to you. Take it as a wake-up call so that you make sure you're making the necessary arrangements to keep your family safe. Don't kid yourself. Oh, the American dollar is the greatest uh, economic force in the world. Everyone appreciates the dollar and nothing will ever happen. Don't kid yourself. You may say, oh, well, we may have a recession, but it will end. Are you thinking resiliency and economic power are just a part of our society and we're the greatest power in the world and so we're invincible? Don't kid yourself. The things that are happening there could be a sign of what could be coming to us next. Don't allow yourself to be fearful or ill-prepared. Take it as a wake-up call what's happening in Greece and prepare your family so that hardships don't come your way. Being prepared is a insurance policy into your standard of living. If you make sure you have clean water, safe food, and your happy home has been secured and stocked, you're going to be far better off than if you make no plans at all. If you have made no plans, begin to make some. If you've made some provisions, get more. Even if you only have one dollar, spend it on something starting with water. Ensure that you have an adequate supply of water stocked in your home. Then make sure you have a way to filter should something happen. Maybe your water supply would become contaminated and then your town would go under a boil alert. Make sure you have a way to purify water. Make sure you have food. Get food and stockpile things that you eat, that you know how to prepare, and that you know your family will eat and rotate it. Make your supply bigger so that you will have adequate amounts for any long-term hardship that could come our way. Make sure you have sanitation supplies and first aid. Do you have paper plates, plastic utensils, baby wipes, paper napkins, toilet paper? Do you have some sort of a portable toilet arrangement? If not, start working on it. If anyone in your family takes medic medicine or any kind of prescription, make sure you have an adequate supply and do what it takes to make sure you have extra set aside for at least a week so that if something happens that no one will go without life-saving medication. Work on your shelter. Make sure your home is maintained and secure and should you need to evacuate for some reason make sure you have a backup plan so you know where you're going and how you can be safe and what you would do. Don't take the security and happiness of your family for granted. Live happily today but plan for tomorrow so that you will always be okay. Make sure that you always have enough fresh drinking water, safe food, and that you have protected your family and a home. Don't take those things for granted. Learn more at alaskagranny.com and please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.